Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sip's Handy Tips. And I watch a lot of um, <laughs> YouTube videos about microphones, and it always amazes me when I read the comments how people buy the microphone that was demonstrated, and then they say it doesn't work. That they received it, it doesn't work. They tried this, they tried that, and they couldn't get it to work. And I think a lot of that has to do with setup. So stay tuned, and we'll talk about setting up a microphone. So setting up a microphone is um, not as simple as you might think. It's, it's supposed to be plug and play, but there are some adjustments you, you probably need to make, and you probably need to check. I'm uh, on screen. I have my uh, SoundForge Audio Studio 10, and let's see what's going on. This is my microphone. I have it set up here, and I'll put it right over. Here. I'll put it. Um, I don't want it too much in the shot. I hope it's not too much in the shot there. But it is a condenser microphone. It requires uh, phantom power, 48 volts and uh, it is going to be supplied by my I usually call this my mixer but it is actually a uh, audio interface this is a Behringer 302 USB and this is the uh, USB connector and this connector here is connected to the microphone I'm going to go ahead and unplug that for you and it has a a three prong connector in the center it has a I can put a quarter inch connector like from another microphone a dynamic microphone or uh, maybe a guitar it has uh, some controls here this is the gain this is the mic level these are some uh, equalization uh, controls. This is for low, this is for high, this is for pan. Pan uh, will determine whether it sounds like it's on the left, right, or the sound is coming from center on two channels. It is a uh, two-channel uh, device. It outputs to the left and right. Through these, I can connect those to an external digital microphone. A digital recorder and uh, it also has I can hook up a mic and a headset right here if I had one of those gaming mics where I had the headphones and uh, a uh, microphone I could plug that in here I can only have one microphone working at a time so it's either this one the dynamic or the headphone mic I can't there is a second channel and that one can also can be set up with some other type of input like an mp3 player where it is line voltage I guess or line signal okay so let's see what's going on with this microphone and I am the first thing you should check let's see we'll, we'll uh, click on record and as you can tell from these levels here there's not much going on. I can talk over here and nothing. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, let's increase my gain. The gain was on zero, so let's put that at 50% and mic level at 50%. The gain is like the preamp. It sends some uh, energy <laughs> to the microphone it always has to have some current it it provides that first level of uh, amplification the mic level controls more uh, how much more amplification might be needed for the application to be able to to uh, read okay and seems like nothing's going on I'm gonna turn them to max turn them to max nothing's going on so I'm gonna leave it at 50% I'm going to go down here to this little speaker icon and, and right click on it and I'm going to open recording devices. This little interface here, this little, oh, let me put them over here. This little uh, dialog screen refers to 
recording devices. There are, there's also one for playback, sounds, and communication. But we're just concerned about recording right now. And these are my microphones. This microphone is the one on the front of the machine. I have a regular desktop computer and um, this it has a microphone hookup on the front side. It also has one on the rear. It has a line input. And that's for um, if I wanted to hook up an MP3 player or some other audio source. It also has a mixer and says the mixer is the, the default uh, right now. This uh, stereo mixer uh, allows you to pick devices but now this is the the one that points at my condenser microphone it says USB audio uh, codecs disabled so there's there's one thing and we can um, right click on it and we want to enable it and now you can see the little check mark and now you can see over here that it is getting some audio still quite low let's go ahead and double click and let's learn more about that microphone and uh, has simple information here let's go to listen he says do you want to listen to this device right now it says whatever is coming in on the microphone is going to be sent sent to the speakers and I'm going to take that off my amplifier is off right now that's why you don't hear anything coming through it but it can cause a lot of feedback and we don't want that on so that's the we taking care of that now let's go to levels now the program SoundForge does not have any controls if you notice over here there's no no sliders to uh, control the the, the uh, input level from the microphone it's only set at 10 so that's probably why we're getting such low low response. We we'll, Let's move this to 90. I like to keep it at 90. So now if I'm close to the microphone you can see it goes much higher. It goes up to 24. I'm going to increase my level to about 70 percent and my mic level also to about 70 percent. One, two, three, four. And that's about where it should be. When I'm talking normally it should be around this 12 that's what I think works the best for me let's click on advance for a moment and you will see that it is selected 2 channel 16 bit 44,100 Hertz and that is what's called uh, CD quality compact disc quality which you would get on a uh, regular music compact disc you can get a higher quality recording by setting it at 48,000 hertz, which is a call DVD quality. But I'm going to leave mine on CD quality. I'm just doing, going to do a voice recording. I don't think, think I need anything better than that. And I can click on Apply, and then click OK, and everything should be ready. I'll close this one off. Uh, we're looking at this it's ready to record so let's record into in some input here and I'll click on record and it's flashing it says he's recording hello my name is Sip Mendez welcome to Sips handy tips and in this audio demonstration we're just going to record for about 30 seconds the uh, indicator on my computer says that it is Oh, heaven, it is recording. And there I'm going to stop. All right. And now I can close off my recording screen. I am going to turn on my amplifier so that maybe we can hear what I recorded. I'm going to play this back by, by just clicking on play. Record and it's flashing it says he's recording hello my name is Sip Mendez welcome to Sips handy tips and in this audio demonstration we're just going to record for about 30 seconds all right that went very well if you notice over here on the right hand side that as it's playing back it's not recording any 
higher than about three six maybe three I don't want it to go any higher than that this uh, graph here of the uh, of what I recorded looks good it's very distinctive it's nice it has some nice tall spikes in it and uh, I think that works well well if you need any more help with your microphones let me know leave me a comment below if you uh, enjoyed this demonstration and found it useful give me a thumbs up if not give me a thumbs down if you're not a subscriber click on subscribe and you'll be notified of each new video as I publish them if you're not a member of YouTube sign up for an account it's quick and easy and that way you can leave comments ask questions and get answers so until next time take care